Hello, this is Matt. What if I told you I'd like the Cincinnati Bengals? Would you think I'm crazy? Probably. But if I'm in Cincinnati, I'm normal. What if I told you I collect coins? Would you think I'm crazy? Most people would. But in this YouTube world, we're all a community, right? We all do the same thing. We all believe the same stuff. So we like silver, we like copper, we like coins. This world is where I love to be. But I have to now go out into the real world. I'm in a situation where I have to move. I'm moving, so I need to take my coins and put them at my in-law's house. So now, my little secret hobby, my thing, my thing, now has to go out into the real world. Kinda scary, right? Like, I don't want to show people all my stuff. But I have to at this minute because I have to store it in their house. Because when I show up with 200 pounds of copper or a big box of silver, people don't know what it is. They're like, why would you be holding coins? What are you, 12? Probably. That's probably what they're going to say, right? But the other side of that is if silver, if copper, if all this stuff becomes extremely valuable, you look like the smartest person in the world. Like, oh man, why wasn't I doing that too? And that's what we're hoping for, right? We're hoping that we're making the right choices now, even though it's a little awkward or it's a little strange, but five years from now, it's going to be like, oh, I can't believe I didn't do the same thing. So the other option right now is for me to start selling off or getting rid of coins. But when I look at the things that I own, that's the last thing I want to get rid of right now. It's the thing I have the most faith in, right? If I had to hold on to one thing, it would be those coins because I think they have potential becoming extremely valuable. So that's my dilemma. Do I become normal and streamline and get rid of the excess or do I just take my stuff Say, this is who I am, put it in the garage, put it in the closet, and just wait, right? I think I have to just do that. So I just got a delivery in the mail. I saw an eBay listing for nine perfectly brand new Lincoln Scent books from 1941 to 74. And I need another Lincoln Scent book like I need another whatever. I do not need this, but I love this stuff, right? So I saw these brand new books. They're a great value and I can fill them out. Now all these scents are from the 40s. I have a bunch of 43s. So the challenge for me now, if I want to take this on, is to finish these books and I can do it. I have the coins. I have the time because I love the hobby. The next thing Again, the reason why I'm Forrest Gump, well, I made it this far. I might as well keep going, right? Part of the lot also included four of these magnifiers, but they're special because they have they have a black light. So it's supposed to be for currency detection. So it's kind of cool. But the trick, when I knew that I was getting these black lights... That intrigued me to get a Geiger. So that's why I reached out to Patriot Stacker and said, hey, if you want to trade those Geigers, because, hey, I'll finally have a black light, so why not have a Geiger? That's how ridiculous my coin collection is, but I love it. It just grows naturally. I love this hobby. Now, is stacking Stormtrooper right? Does silver take up too much space? Is now the time to switch to gold? Maybe, right? I've considered that. I said maybe this is the time to start trading away rolls of quarters and try to get some gold. But then again, my thought is that silver is the one to be behind. So I'm conflicted, right? I know space-wise it's smart. It, it'd be a lot easier to move you know, a stack of gold, but I believe in silver more. I like gold, but I love silver. So I have to stay on this silver train. I'm going to keep it, right? So be it. I'm ready to move. But I'm just asking, maybe you. Maybe you have the same situation where you've collected coins, you've collected cents and nickels and all these things throughout the years. What happens when you move? Or what happens when, let's say, you pass away? Who's going to handle your collection? We have to think about that. 
Let's say you pass away, your kids take on your collection. Is it something that they can be proud of? Are they going to look at you and say, man, he was doing the right thing. He was collecting the right stuff. Or, man, why was he collecting buffalo nickels? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard of. Because if you watch Coin Help You, Daniel, he tells these heartbreaking stories of family members that bring in these collections that their grandfather was buying off HSN or QVC. You know, just years of just collecting the wrong stuff. And he has to break it to him. He has to say, I know you think your dad was smart and your grandpa was smart, but he wasted his money. He paid so much more than this is actually worth. I can pay you pennies on the dollar. That would break my heart. I would never want to put my kids in a situation where they have to come to reality and say, wow, what am I going to do with this collection now? So I'm collecting the right stuff, I think. I think I'm keeping, I hate to say hoarding, but that's kind of what we're doing. We're stacking. We're collecting. We're basically hoarding. We're trying to pull off of the market what we want to keep, what we think is going to secure our future, secure our legacy, pass on to our kids, but we have to store it, right? I love it, right? I am guilty. I've lived in this house for 12 years and for the last five or six, I've been collecting coins and I love my collection. But now that I have to get it out and move it, you kind of reveal to yourself, you say, wow, maybe you do have a little bit too much copper. Just kidding. I know Pirate Stacker and others love copper. I actually love copper too. And really it's doubled in value, right? It was four back when, hit two, it's back over $4 a pound. So it is a great asset. I also have Canadian nickels. They're also riding high. I think all metal prices are going to go up. So if you're going to invest, you might as well invest in something that you can hold and that's going to go up in value. I love coins. I'm probably never going to stop. But for now, I might have to pause until I reestablish myself. Hopefully I give you an idea of how to weigh down your safe too. If you have a safe in your house and you don't have it bolted to the ground, there's a way that you can weigh your safe down to make it more secure, but also have it hold value. And that's basically putting copper cents or Jefferson nickels or even 40% Kennedys or 35% war nickels, whatever is heavy, you put that at the base of your safe. Then you're weighing your safe down, but you're also still storing your collectibles. And that's what I love to do. At the base of my two little safes are copper, right? That is the perfect base. And think of it also as like the base of your stack. That's what I enjoyed at first. And that's what I recommend for a lot of people. If you're just getting into coins, start with some copper. Go get some cents or even buy them already sorted 82 and prior. Just buy the, buy the copper and you start to build your stack. That can be your base, and then you put some silver on top. And then if you want, you could put a little gold on top. That's up to you. All right, let's get to it. So the base of my collection are these blue albums. I have some dime books, nickels, quarters. There's some Canadian, there's some cents, half dollars. And this is just a fun way for me to collect and keep the collection organized. And it seems a little extreme to have this many books, but I'm really a collector by opportunity, right? I found a huge lot of used blue books. They were extremely cheap, so I just picked them up because it was a good deal. And then over time, I've picked up one more book, one more book, and I start working them, right? I'll pull these out of the garage and start filling them because I enjoy this. This is what makes collecting fun. So here we have two different types of stacks. You have your silver stack and nickel stack. And these aren't just Jefferson nickels. These are Canadian nickels from 1981 and prior. And they are all pure 999 fine nickel. So basically it's a bullion buy. I have them sorted by year. And I just think it's an awesome way to stack nickel. This is my silver stack. So when I get coins, I sort through, I try to put them in books. I look for great conditioned or toned coins. I put those in flips. 
And then all the rest, the duplicates, the common, the rolled up coins just go right here. So now we're going to look at my safes. I have two gun safes anchored to the wall, but to add security, I decided to add weight to the base. So each of my sons has a stack. And the base of their stack are copper pennies and nickels, right? There's nothing special about the nickels. They're just traditional nickels. But I've sorted through and picked the better condition. And then randomly I'll throw some more coins into this. So this is one of my sons. My next is underneath. So it's just fun, right? This is a way for me to start their collection, but also give some weight to the base of the safe. Now if I flip around to the other one, These are about 200 pounds worth of copper. So these are all sorted by year. And I wrote a note for my three sons to say, split these amongst you, don't fight, go through them and find some varieties. No, I'm just kidding. But every, every year I have just bagged up and it's just a fun way for me to store copper, but also put some weight at the base of this. This is 200 pounds. The safe's not gonna move. So my question for you is, are you happy with your coin collection? Are you happy with your silver? and your copper, and your gold. Does it look good? Are you satisfied? I want you to go to your collection today, sort through it a little bit, and say, I love it. And anything that doesn't fit anymore, let's trade it. Let's get it out of there. Because you have to love your collection. All right, let's wrap it all up. So at the beginning I asked, if I told you I was a Bengals fan, would you think I'm crazy? And some of you said yes, because very few people love the Bengals. But if I told you I collected coins, this community would say, right on, we're all mad down here, right? Like Mad Stacker says, we're all crazy. And coin collectors are crazy. But I'm happy to be one. I'm so happy to be a coin collector. I have the card, I'm here. So I'm happy to be part of this community. I'm ready to grow. Let's keep building with each other and let's go. See, we live in this YouTube world where it's okay to show you my collection of pennies and fuck. Huh. So now is stacking stormtroopers... Fuck. So now is stacking storm... Or now is it time to trade to gold? Because it does take up smaller space. It's a more... Um, Scent books. They're unused. Whoa, actually, hey. That was a surprise, guys. I gotta check them all now.